everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the medication known as budesonide. Its brand name is Pomacort. And before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. Now, I've put together some slides to go over the information associated with this medication, so let's just jump right into it. So the first thing to discuss here would be the mechanism of action or how this medication works. So budesonide is an anti-inflammatory synthetic corticosteroid with potent glucocorticoid activity and weak mineralocorticoid activity. It exhibits a broad range of active inhibition against multiple cell types and mediators involving allergic and non-allergic or irritant mediated inflammation. In terms of indications or reasons we prescribe this medication to a patient, well, we may see budesonide prescribed for prophylaxis or maintenance therapy in asthma. It may be used for allergic and non-allergic rhinitis. Crohn's disease may be treated with budesonide as well as ulcerative colitis when it's mild or moderate and active. With respect to contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe budesonide, well first off we just wouldn't give this medication to a patient who had a hypersensitivity to budesonide or any other component of the formulation. If a patient had a severe hypersensitivity to milk proteins, they would not be able to use the Pomacort Flexhaler as it does contain trace uh, amounts of milk proteins. And lastly here, this medication would not be used for primary treatment of status asthmaticus. Now for some examples of dosing with budesonide. In the treatment of asthma, using the Pomacort Flexhaler, we may see an initial dose of 360 micrograms via oral inhalation twice daily. 180 micrograms twice daily initially may be sufficient in some patients. The maximum dose would be 720 micrograms twice daily. In the treatment of rhinitis, we may see initially 64 micrograms or one 32 microgram spray per nostril once daily, and the maximum in this situation would be 256 micrograms per day. As with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using budesonide, so I'll go over some of those here now. Just keep in mind that some of these percentages may seem high, but we are including the oral budesonide as well. So diarrhea may happen two to 10% of the time, Nausea may happen 2 to 5% of the time, and arthralgia or joint pain comes in at 2 to 5% as well. 3 to 21% of patients may experience a headache, and 2 to 8%, again, keep in mind the nasal inhaler, uh, may experience bleeding from the nose or nasal stinging. Respiratory tract infections are possibilities, as well as sinusitis. More serious side effects would be syncope or fainting, pneumonia, or angioedema. All right, everybody, that's all we're going to talk about today with budesonide or Pomacort. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, remember you can like the videos, share the videos, and most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. Here for today, take care.